Uh, shalom. Uh, praise to the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekai Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation to you, brothers, and hopefully, question this word and truth and sincerity. All right, this video here is the chariots are the vehicles of salvation. All right, the chariots are the vehicles of salvation. <clears throat> All right, so we, if, if you've been following, you know that, uh, that Yahweh will come back uh, in the chariots with the angels. All right. <clears throat> so that's how that's the avenue in which our salvation shall come. You know, when it says to look up your salvation draw off now. OK, we're looking up to the skies to, you know, <clears throat> see Yahweh Shai and the angels coming in the chariots. All right. This is why you're seeing more chariot sightings now, too. Okay, because the angels are making themselves, making their presence known in the earth. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to look up this word vehicle. And it's going to be from the free dictionary.com. is the word vehicle and it says a device or structure for transporting persons or things a conveyance a self-propelled conveyance that runs on two tires a motor vehicle but now this is not going to be a motor vehicle this ain't going to have no no engine <laughs> uh <clears throat> let's see See where we get something that uh, here's one. It says any means in or by which someone or something is carried. Okay, that is what a vehicle is. The chariots are going to be the means or the structure by which we will be transported. Okay, we'll be taken up out of here. You know, Lord willing, that, that or that the elect will be taken up out of here. All right, it is uh, just some proof on it. In Psalm chapter one hundred four, verse three, it says, "Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind?" All right, so. A lot of times when we see the word cloud or clouds in the scriptures is referring to the chariots of the Lord. OK, that, that's what it's referring to. And this is just a proof to. Uh, <clears throat> to for you to get that understanding. All right. So we we've got the understanding that the clouds are referring to the chariots. So now let's get the scriptures that, that goes into that. <clears throat> this is Acts chapter one, verse six. When they therefore will come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his power. <clears throat> but he, Salaki, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem Jerusalem, and in all Judea and in Samaria and, un and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Now, how did that happen? That happened through the scattering. Okay. That happened through us being scattered throughout the uttermost parts of the earth in the four corners of the earth. Okay. Uh, verse nine. And when he had spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up. And a cloud received him out of their sight. So he was taken up or he went up into the cloud or the chariot. Okay. And while they look steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, ye men, these were, these were angels, obviously. Okay. They, they stood by him in white apparel. Okay. But it says, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh which was taken up 
from you into heaven, he went up into the chariots, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So the same way he went up into a chariot is the same way he shall come in a chariot. Okay? All right. There's a little more proof on that. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars of the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. OK, this is uh, when the, these the missiles be hidden, too. OK, then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven. Then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory and he shall send his angels and with a great sound of the trumpet they shall gather together his elect from the four winds and from one end of heaven to the other okay he's coming in the cl in the chariots okay the angels are going to be sent out to uh, to gather up the elect or to take the uh, elect up into the chariots all right Now, why would the angels be sent out to the four corners of the earth? Uh, it says, this is Jeremiah chapter 23, 5. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch. That's Yahweh Shai. And a king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In, in his days, Judah shall be saved and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name, whereby he shall be called the Lord, our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that they shall no more say the Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. OK, but the Lord liveth, which brought up the children, which uh, Salakia, but the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, Babylon, the great and from all countries whither I had driven them and they shall dwell in their own land okay we were scattered okay and the Lord is going to come back to gather us from all the places in which we were scattered the elect okay <clears throat> alright this is Psalm chapter 68 verse 17 the chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. And the Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. Okay. So there are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of chariots. Okay. So uh, <laughs> you got to think about it. It's going to be the climax of, of this movie. It's going to be the climax of this piece in which the Most High Yahweh wrote. Okay. So he's going to send... The, the host of heaven, the thousands and thousands of chariots with thousands and thousands of angels with his son. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be scary. It's beautiful yet scary at the same time. Horrifying. All right. Because <laughs> we, we praying and we hoping to be saved out of here. We pray and we hope that our sacrifice of which we made here on this side is enough. Okay. This uh, Isaiah chapter 19, verse 1. The burden of Egypt. Okay. Behold, the Lord rideth upon a swift cloud. What is a swift cloud? Are, are clouds fast? Or do clouds move swiftly? Okay, yeah, you can see clouds move. But do they move, you know, like very, you know, in a, at a high rate of speed? No, they don't. This is talking about the chariots. Okay. The Lord rideth upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt. And the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. And the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. Alright, this is spiritual Egypt. So this is talking about Babylon the Great. Not the literal Egypt. Okay, in this particular sense. <clears throat> and this is why it says, And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Okay, the, the Babylonians against the Babylonians. These people will be against each other. And they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. Okay, that's what's going to be happening. And the Lord is going to return in the midst of that battle. All right. <clears throat> this is Isaiah chapter 26, verse 20. Come, my people. 
enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. What are those chambers? They're going to be the chariots. We will, we're going to go up into the clouds or up into the chariots. Those are the chambers which will be protected from this destruction. Okay? We're going to hide ourselves inside of the chambers or inside the chariots while the Lord goes and destroys, you know, these people. Okay? While well, the Lord exacts his vengeance. Verse 21. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. <clears throat> All right. And this be the last one I get here. <clears throat> it's Revelation chapter 12, verse uh, chapter 11, verse 12. And this is going along with the one I just read about entering into the chambers. OK, coming up hither to enter into the chambers. Um, <clears throat> Revelation 11 and 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying, Come unto them, Salakia. Let me start over. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up it up to heaven in a cloud. We just went over it. They ascended up to heaven in a chariot. And their enemies beheld them. They watched. They saw. And the same hour was there a great earthquake. These, these missiles hitting. Okay. And the tenth part of the city fail okay you're gonna have the chariots shooting out the laser beams or the concentrated beams of heat or concentrated fire okay along with the missiles hitting okay it's gonna be an earthquake and the same hour was there a great earthquake and the tenth part of the city fell all right you have the zip codes you know from zero up to nine you know it's ten numbers and then you also have the uh the the country is divided into ten parts you know, those 10 FEMA regions. All right. And the and in the earthquake were slain of men, 7,000. Okay, that's a complete number of men. And the remnant were affrighted and gave glory unto the Most High of heaven, unto the power of heaven. Okay. Matter of fact, I want to get that real quick. Let me see if I could get a, a image of it just for the proof of uh the the... <clears throat> the 10 FEMA regions. <sighs> okay. All right, so you look here. The United States is uh, literally divided up into... 10 parts, you know, from one starting from the uh, from the New England area or from the northeast all the way down to the south with four, you know, five, you know, making its way on to the west coast. Okay, these are the 10 FEMA regions or the 10th part of the city. Okay, this, remember, this is a great city, America, Babylon the Great. Okay, this is a great city, it's a large city, it's a city of un, you know, of unwalled villages. Okay. There's no walls there, okay? <clears throat> but yeah. That's that tenth part of the city. And then it says it was an earthquake. Oops, about that wrong. Let me grab this scripture here. Isaiah 24 and 20. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again. What's going to make the earth reel to and fro? What's going to make the earth rock and shake like that? Okay. These nuclear missiles. These lasers. The, uh, the laser means from the, uh, from the chariots. Matter of fact, let me read. I'm just reading 19 too. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. What's going to move the earth exceedingly? What's going to cleanly exalt, dissolve it? 
Okay, what's going to make the elements melt with fervent heat? Okay, the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall uh, be removed like a cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again. Okay, but but the elect will be saved from that by way of the chariots. Okay, through the vehicles of the Lord, through the vehicles of the chariots. All right. Now, the Lord don't need them, okay? You don't need a chair. You don't need anything like that. But that's how he chose to do it, okay? But uh, this is a, just a quick lesson on the chariots, okay? Uh, so, call Lord Yahweh, Shema, Shabbat, Shema, Kakudash. Hope you edified. Shalom.